Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. Local leaders joined at the Mountain Arts Center March 13th as Governor Andy Bashir presented more than $8.5 million to Breathitt, Floyd, Johnson, Knott, McGothan, and Martin counties. This money will help support infrastructure, cleaner water, law enforcement, nonprofits, tourism, and transportation. Well, I believe that every Kentucky family, no matter where they live, deserve the same opportunities. That's why uh, my administration, um, with Rocky Atkins helping to lead the way, have been so focused on Eastern Kentucky. How we've made investments in sites where we can bring businesses like the Thunder Ridge site here in Floyd County. Uh, clean drinking water, roads, bridges, helping uh, four-laning the Mountain Parkway to create another artery on which that we can uh, improve the lives of our families. Eastern Kentucky deserves everything that every other region has, uh, and we're going to make it happen. Over $2.9 million was distributed from the Appalachian Regional Commission, $3.6 million from the Cleaner Water Fund, and 10 nonprofits received over $716,423 from the Nonprofit Assistance Fund. Over $26,000 was also distributed to the City of Paintsville and Floyd and Martin County Sheriff's Office from the Law Enforcement Protection Program. Well, let me just say the news just broke mm -hmm. uh, from Senator McConnell's office that HUD a federal uh, agency uh, is going to provide about $300 million in what are called Community Development Block Grant Disaster Relief Funds. And those kind of come on the back end to help us rebuild homes in eastern Kentucky. That'll be a big help on top of what we've been able to do with nonprofits. It'll be a big help on top of the uh, $212 million Eastern Kentucky Safe Fund, a $13 million Flood Relief Fund. So it's good news. Now we got to make it work. It's typically too slow, and so we're going to have to push uh, for some change. But, but about $300 million for the region is always something to celebrate. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.